Did you know that you can play guitar solos without a pick? In this lesson, we'll be talking about using your finger picking skills for lead guitar. And I'll show you two ways that it's commonly done. Changing your tone isn't all about amp settings. Finger picking is a great way to expand your lead playing by just changing the way that the notes are articulated. Listen to this idea with a pick. Now listen again as I use my fingers to play the same idea. Could you hear the difference? So the first way I'm gonna show you involves alternating between plucking down with your thumb and then up with your middle finger. So thumb and middle finger. We're gonna practice this with a really simple lick on just the high E string. So first, just get the movement down with me. I'm just going thumb, middle, thumb, middle thing. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Let's add a couple of notes here. Let's play third fret and fifth fret. So it's gonna go three, oh, five, oh, like this. Three, oh, five, oh. Just back and forth. We're more concerned with picking with our fingers than fancy notes. Got it? Let's practice it a few more times, okay? I'll count you in. One, and two, and three, and four and one. One, and two, and three, and four, and a few more times. And a one, and two, and three, and four, and. This style is commonly used on electric guitar because the movement simulates using a pick anyways and also allows for easy palm muting. One other thing that you can add to this is the snap, where I'll take my middle finger and literally put it underneath the string and pop up like that. So you just literally go underneath and yank it out, which causes the string to ricochet against the fretboard for that unique sound or articulation. Next, we'll try alternating between our index and middle fingers of our strumming hand. So in this case, this is the movement. We'll add a couple notes in a second, but I'm literally going index, middle, index, middle, index, middle. For added power, I'm using a technique called a rest stroke. A rest stroke means that when I pluck my high E string, I'm gonna follow through and allow that finger to rest on the B string. I can get way more power than if I use a free stroke and I just kinda try and avoid it. Try that with me. So let's go real slow, just the open string, open. Now, let's add a couple of notes to this. So instead of three and five, let's try one and three. So we'll go one, oh, three, oh, one, oh, three, oh, and constantly alternating. So index, middle, index, middle, index, middle, like that, okay? Let's try that together a few times. So starting on the first fret of high E, and you're gonna use your first finger on your strumming hand to pluck that first note, okay? One, and two, and three, and four, and. And we're thinking one, and two, and three, and four, and keep going. And one more time. Okay, I've tortured you enough. So this type of finger picking is common from the classical tradition, but it can allow for some really fast movement. You'll see it used more often on acoustic guitar than an electric guitar because it's not as easy to palm mute this way. Lead guitar finger picking is a great way to personalize your playing. It will give you a different tone than that of a pick and it will create new playing options to experiment with. Put those picks down and see what you can come up with. See you next time.